Dragon Army Productions presents Gaming with Draggy the Little Dragon. Hello, hello again, everybody. Draggy the Little Dragon here with Gaming with Draggy. And today we are doing Beast Quest here on episode 3. Yes, episode 3. Isn't that amazing? Can't wait to get to episode 10 or even 20 for that matter. Wonder what I'm gonna do next. Anyways, the what's going on with this game is you got Tom, a, a young boy, he's confronted by a wizard telling him basically, well, you're the hero. You're you're gonna risk your life going on a quest to say to rescue four legendary beasts that protect the kingdom of Avantia. It's pretty generic. And not to mention cliche, for that matter. Anyways, not anything too special to this game. You got to do your basic platforming, really basic, simple platforming, very simple puzzles. They could have done a bit better with the environmental aspects of the game. They could have done a lot more with this game. They really could have. They. They could have made it a little bit more original and not as generic. But for a simplistic game just to kill some time, simplistic fun game to kill time, it, it's it's an okay game. It's so if you like the generic fantasy based RPG, well, Beast Quest is for you at that. So we're gonna get into the gameplay. I started on easy just to see how how the game progressed and and it gave me a good uh, working knowledge of the game before I started actually making the the episodes. So here we go. Getting into the storyline now. Of course we'll have to wait and watch wait watch and Welcome play the young adventurer the to the magical kingdom of Avantia. My name is Aduro. A good wizard serving in the court of the righteous King Hugo. You have joined us at a most difficult time. Avantia is under siege. The dark wizard Malvel has cursed four of the legendary beasts that have protected the kingdom for centuries. Under his nefarious evil spells, these mighty creatures now run wild, causing all manner of chaos and leaving a trail of destruction in their wake. Ferno, the fire dragon. Arcta, the mountain giant. Nanook, the snow monster. And Epos, the flame bird. Avantia is in grave danger. All of King Hugo's knights have failed to free the beasts from Melville's curse. But there is hope. The ancient scrolls tell of an unlikely young hero. Oh, how fortunate. A boy with the courage and heart to overcome Malvo's dark magic, free the beasts, and ultimately save the kingdom. This is his story. This is his beast quest. And what a quest it will be. Look, you see the gauntlet with the keys lying on the ground. He's all confused about what's going on. What's happened here? It's all burnt. Wow! A knight's gauntlet! I wonder what happened. Fear not, lad. I am the good wizard Aduro, and it... Oh, oops. Uh, uh, sorry. Crazy here, wizard. What was I saying? Ah, yes. Uh, fear not, lad. I am the good wizard Aduro. The magical key you now hold is an ancient artifact of great power. One which can break a terrible curse when used by a hero who is true of heart. I believe that hero is you. Um... Uh... Tom! Oh, uh, Tom. <laughs> right. But I'm only a kid. What can I do? 
The dark wizard Malvel has cursed the four beasts that protect the land. And now they are enraged, destroying everything in their path. I thought the beasts were just a myth. The beasts can only do their work when left in peace. So we have kept their existence a secret. This key is the only thing that will unlock the cursed collar around Ferno the Fire Dragon's neck and free him. I see greatness and strength in you, Tom. Will you risk your life for the Beast Quest? I will. Whatever it takes. Very good, Tom. I'm sure you will make Avantia proud. But first, we must prepare you for the battle ahead and equip you with gear worthy of a legendary hero. So, let us begin with your armor. Yeah, the Gandalf reject is because of a change of clothes. Your new it's armor, not even armor will offer much needed protection when you face the beasts. Try moving around and see how it feels. I'll meet you in the clearing at the top of the hill. Yeah, it's just a fancy tunic. That's all it is. It's not even real armor. So I don't really get why the the silly wizard Gandalf reject <laughs> called it armor in the first place. Oh look, and we have currently have a wooden sword and shield. The most powerful weapons in the game, of course. <laughs> not of course, that's what my youngest son, Cole, would say. Every time he sees a wooden sword in, <laughs> in a game... It's... Oh, look! The most powerful weapon in the game! It's kind of our joke. And we're just trying to get through this quickly here. Okay, here's the platform. Now, here's the thing with the platforming. You got about a half second delay... In you, between when you press the jump and when Tom actually jumps. So it can make the platforming a bit difficult at times. As simplistic as the platforming is. So, yeah. Quickly now, Tom. The beasts won't free themselves. Here we go, cue the mock battle. Terribly sorry about earlier. It was a complete accident, I assure you. No, no, I have nothing against Robins. Some of my best friends are Robins. This armor feels great. Excellent. Now, let's take a look at that sword and shield of yours. Let me see. We can do much better than that. Give the generic sword and shield. Wow! Now, try them out on this. There's the... Don't worry. Ghost it board. cannot hurt you. Bring it on! Fast and powerful. And you got your basic combo. And you can charge your attacks. One more powerful attack. Battle system is actually kind of unique. It's not when trying to dodge, all that great. Be sure to keep your eyes on the enemy. Watch closely, really and you'll be able to see which either. direction you need to dodge.
When an enemy is about to attack, raise your shield to block. Some enemies have special attacks. Now, use everything that you have just learnt to defeat the ghost wolf. some odd reason well done seeing how swiftly you moved on with sword and shield in hand you so remind me of another young knight could it be you the mention are of you the, the son of Taladon the swift um yes I am I call it did you know my father many years ago Acquaintance. I stood with your father as I stand with you now he was a great man I watched him grow into a true knight of Avantia. But alas, he vanished long ago. There are stories of his adventures, but the truth remains a mystery. With luck, you may discover what really happened to him. But while Ferno is enchanted, we must remain focused on the beast quest. I have one last gift for you. Oh look, a magic map. This is a magical map of Avantia. As you can see, we are currently near Erinel, and Ferno was last seen through the Forest of Fear. Ooh, Remember, Tom, use the golden scary. key to unlock the cursed collar around really. Ferno's neck. Once it has been removed, the spell will be broken, and the beast will be free. Fate has chosen you to save our kingdom. You are our only hope. Help me, Obi-Wan Kenobi. You're my I only hope. I can do this. I won't let you down, Aduro. While there's blood in my veins, I will free the beasts and save Avantia. Good luck, Tom. And remember, keep the quest a secret to protect the beasts. And now we get to go into town, pick up all of our side quests, and then pretty much start the adventure. Pretty simple. Race over here, grab the grab the first key you see. They are for the chest. Now, to open the chest, you do need the, the proper key, and you have to find them. They are always shown on the map for you. Side quests are pictured on the map as blinking blips, as you see here. Thorn. Hey, Tom. Whoa, where did you get that sword? Looks That looks so dangerous. So awesome. Ooh, Mom says I can't play until I've, until I've done my chores. I have to harvest all these crops. That's going to take forever. Would you mind getting the crops? It'll take no time if you're doing it. Thank you. Make sure you get them all. As you see, I'm kind of trying to do... Um, trying to stay in... Uh, theme with the... The game voice it, voices it. It's a lot of kind of English voice acting throughout the game, so that's kind of what I'm trying to do. Hey, thanks, buddy. You helped me out big time. I'm not really all that great at it, so forgive me. It's just kind of a goofy attempt. Okay, here's our friend, first friendly campsite, our save points. D 
to save, all you need to do is just walk up to him like I did. Here's your shop, dude. He get he sells you health pot, health potions and brave potions. The brave potions fills up the yellow bar. That's what you use for your abilities. So we're gonna come over to this guy. Go talk to him. Let's see, his name is Vincy. Oh, well, you know, kind of similar to my boy, my uh, mate's name there. Anyways, uh, excuse me, sir. My name is Vince. I'm a professional artiste. Tell me, have you seen any mythical beasts around here? I know, I know. Everyone tells me that they don't exist. But I ask you, where do the stories come from? See, it's my plan to prove them all wrong. I'm going to capture the essence of the mythical beast with my artistic flair. Once I have a picture of one, then people will stop doubting me. Well, no mythical beast here, it seems. I must go to where the beasts are. I'm heading to the forest of fear. Perhaps we'll meet again. Yeah, you'll you'll see him again. We'll talk to this lady here. Gerda, you've changed, Tom. You're looking a lot more grown up lately. Maybe it's the sword and shield. Where'd you even get those? Hey, Tom, you're looking for ready for adventure. I need five red flowers to put around the house. Could you help me out? Oh, that's wonderful. Thank you. I'll be right here waiting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever, lady. Nah, I'm gonna skip the cookie lady for time being. Get all the rest of the other quests. Hi, I'm Jin, the jeweler from Bruni. Terrible things have been happening here. It's much safer here. While we were traveling from Bruni, we were attacked by skeletons. And one of them dropped this curious gold ring. If you bring me more of these rings, then I'll pay you handsomely. About eight rings should do it. What do you say? Yeah, we'll get her the gold rings. You will? That's fantastic. Good luck and let me know when you're done. Yeah, we'll get her her gold rings. Not a big deal. And we'll come over and talk to this kid. Good to see you, Tom. Remember that time we snuck into your uncle's blacksmith? You were so scared, ha ha. Hey Tom, I've been curious about the shiny stone my dad brought home. I've never seen anything like it. My dad says he had to pry it out of the hands of a goblin to get it. If you find more of these, would you bring them to me? Thanks Tom, I appreciate it. Just be careful, my dad says that those goblins are dangerous. Yeah, I think I'm starting to lose my voice, guys. I've already tried this, tried to do this recording like three times today, so it's finally working for me now. Thank goodness. So bear with me if my voice starts cracking and whatnot. Okay. Now to see what you have in the way of keys, I believe it's through the inventory. Sorry about that, peoples. We had a minor crash there. So I had to restart the game. But we're back. Ooh, love me some loot! Okay, there's a chest with some loot there. We just grabbed. We grabbed the key that was in this location and the key over there as well. chest here. Yeah, right here. Treasure found! I'm gonna drop down here. And we're gonna kind of circle around. Okay, now for the cookie lady. The crazy cookie lady. Bella. Hello, dear. I'm Bella, the baker. 
Would you like a lovely cookie? That's the spirit. I knew you would. You wouldn't have that give me a cookie look in your eye. What? I'm out of cookies. You lousy kids. Always get in my cookie stash. I'm sorry about that. Could you be a dear and find my stolen cookies before they get eaten? Yeah, she's gonna have you run around, find the stolen cookies. It, it's pretty easy. Just find the five kids that have the cookies. There's one. There's another. Here's another. And there's one over here. And the last one is up top over here. If I can actually get up the stairs. Here he is. And we got all the cookies back. Now I'll just take them back to the little crazy cookie lady. You found them all. That's good news. But I'm going to make a special batch of sword cookies. I have the cookies, but I'm all out of swords. Could you bring me back some swords? Oh, excellent. You'll just need to defeat some bandits, my dear. Then we can all have some nice sword cookies. Now who in the hell in the right mind put swords in cookies? That lady is freaking nuts. But whatever, it gets you experience. Sword cookies, really? Who put swords in cookies? Unless she's handing out a cookie with a sword, or a sword with a cookie attached to it. Then I might be able to understand, but really, putting a sword in a cookie, that's just dumb. That's dangerous. Okay, so there's a hill right here to my right. With kind of a ledge going up it. You can jump over that, but I'm going to kind of skip that and go around the path. Because I did not take the path the first time I played this, because I didn't see it. This guy just tells you that that bridge is out. So, no need to even talk to him. Grab those flowers. Here's some wolves here. <laughs> To a point in. I just wanted to whack at him. Gives us two health potions and a brave potion. So, okay, we're gonna go down into skills here. We're gonna grab Tempest. And we're going to go ahead and pop the critical chance multiplier on there. Now, you don't particularly have to fight those birds, but I'm going to do it just because it kills some time. And I hate these birds anyways. Just use your speedy sword spell there. It gives you 20 seconds of super speed, pretty much. Well, that should send you 
back to your nest? It's windy. Well, that should send you back to your nest. Yeah, we kick their butts. Okay, we already grabbed the flowers up there. Grab the flowers over here. Let's wait to see how many keys you have in your inventory, but I kind of forgot how. you want to move uh. here. Nope, need iron key. So, gold chests give you better stuff. Iron chests give you, like, intermediate. 
in the bronze chest gets you, like, most of the time, it's only two. Oh, big whoop. A single AP and five gold. Yay. That hit the spot. <laughs> Knock his health out the faster you can get that chest. And most of the time, you don't have to buy health. Chest be mine. Monsters drop them pretty easily. It's not that big a deal. Ah! Get back! Get away from me, wolf! Hey! Help me out, will you? Hold on, I'll be right there. Thanks. Let me help. Now, Eleanor, do it. And we get our first ally. She's pretty helpful. But you have to wait for that little bar in the middle. Of the Thank you. Two bars to reach Without out. my bow, those wolves would have had me for lunch. My name's Elena. Tom, you're really good with that bow. Where did you learn to shoot like that? Rabbits. They're small and fast, so you've got to be really sharp if you don't want to go hungry. Is that why you were out here? Sure is. What about you? Well, the truth is, I'm on a quest. It's the beasts. Wasn't you I've told been chosen to, to release secret, them from a dark Tom. wizard's spell. You? But aren't you a little short to be a knight? Well, I didn't hear you complaining when you were stuck on that rock. Oh, yeah, I see it now. I just wasn't squinting hard enough. But seriously, thank you for the help. Lee and Luke Skywalker there. Aren't you a little short Any to be time. a stormtrooper? You know, I always thought the beasts were more than just a fairy tale. They've all been cursed. Ferno the Fire Dragon is under a dark spell. Ferno? That's why the river's dried up. I have to free him from the curse. I'm coming with you. You can't. It's too dangerous. Not nearly as dangerous as doing it by yourself. You saved me from the wolves. I owe you for that. Besides, you could use someone to watch your back. Well, it would be safer with two of us. That settles it. Any idea how we find this dragon? We need to go through there. Scary woods, big angry dragon, and a tiny knight. What could go wrong? Oh yeah, what could go wrong? Yeah, I'm definitely losing my voice, guys. <laughs> and we hit the next area. Pretty simple. It's kind of a boring start, but hey. Whatever. It is what it is. And here's our next save point in cutscene. Hey, Tom! We shouldn't quest on an empty stomach. I'm going into the forest to hunt some rabbits for dinner. I won't be long. Sure, but be careful. Who knows what's lurking in these woods? And that's pretty much the end of this episode. I'm gonna go, go ahead and grab this key. In the meantime, um... If you like the content and you like the videos I do please don't hesitate to subscribe comment share and like Shop full if, you of want, uh, if you want uh, want to follow me on the social socially on the network sites such as Facebook Twitter or discord I'll put the links in the description below and um, Hey, let me know if you guys want to see me play a specific game. What would you like me to do for a video? Let me know in the comments below. So, this is Draggy the Little Dragon signing out for now. And remember, stay scaly.
Do 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 do.